Hello, welcome to the last vlog of 2017. It's New Year's Eve, so I thought I'd just do a quick review of my three favourite images from this year. Now, all three of my images are from the second half of this year because I didn't really take up photography seriously until about June. I'd had a decent SLR camera back in the 80s when I used to develop my own film, but family and work and all that sort of thing meant that I kind of gave it up. And I didn't really get back into photography until a decent quality camera came within my budget, which was five, six hundred quid, something like that, because obviously I'd have to buy lenses as well. It wasn't until late 2016 that I decided to get back into photography. I bought my Nikon D5500 with an 18 kit lens, and it sat on the shelf until about June this year. Uh, and I didn't start vlogging uh, until September of this year. Uh, all three pictures are from my locality, and uh, let's get on and take a look at them. So, in at number three, uh, is this one, which was taken uh, in the Ogwin Valley in September. And if you've seen the vlog where I took this picture, you'll know that it was specifically to create a print for my father for his 78th birthday. And that's part of the reason why I've picked it. Technically, maybe not the best and compositionally, certainly not the best. But it captures the, the area really well. I went out at dawn, the light was terrible, but I got some interesting clouds. Um, and the composition of Travan on the left, Penarolwen on the right, looking down towards Nant Francon, you know, the valley between them, was exactly what I wanted to capture because that's the area where my father used to do all his rock climbing. And I was really pleased that it turned out so well. It's a three shot, I think, uh, panorama. And it blew up really nicely to a print that's uh, something like six by three. So uh, quite happy with this one. So that's number three. Number two, uh, number two is this one. Obviously you'll have seen this in the intro and outro to my vlogs. Um, the reason I've picked this again, probably technically not the best picture, it was taken in June, I think. Let's just have a look at the date. Oh no, tell a lie, August. Oh, I didn't realize it was that late. Anyway, uh, the upshot was I was shooting the sun at the point of sunset across the lake in front of my house um, when this line of geese just happened to take off at exactly the right moment. They flew right across underneath the cloud line. It just turned out really well. And even though the geese themselves are ever so slightly blurred because given the aperture I was using, uh, I wasn't using a shutter speed for wildlife. But I entered this in a competition, the first competition I've ever entered, and I came first out of 80. So I was particularly chuffed with that, and that's why it makes it to number two. And finally, in at number one, this one was vlogged, it was the end of October, October half term, and I was having all sorts of trouble on the beach at Newborough with people wandering into the shot. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a very wide angle. It's taken at 12 millimeters. Um, and the reason I've picked this one is because um, of I had to wait it out. It turned out to be a good sunset. Uh, and luckily I got the composition I was after without the trippers. The water in front of the stones uh, went calm at just the right moment. It, it had been really ripply up until this particular shot. The main reason I like this is because I worked really hard on the technicalities of this picture. Um, I focus stacked it uh, and I was really pleased that I was able to get the level of sharpness right through the picture. And because of that, uh, that I've picked as my number one for this year. So uh, that's it. Uh, obviously, I'll be vlogging again right through 2018. I hope to get out and spend more time up in the mountains. Uh, I haven't done any wild camps on film this year. So next year, uh, probably start in March, April time, 
Uh, I will be getting out and doing some wild camps in Snowdonia and in between times, obviously, round and about Anglesey. Do subscribe and uh, thank you very much for your support in 2017 and I hope you have a really happy new year.